Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about the concept of pointers to drive class in C++. We can use pointer not only to the base class object, but also to the object of drive classes. Pointer to object of a base class are type compatible with pointer to object of a drive class. we can say a single pointer variable can be made to point to object belonging to different classes for example b is the base class and d is a drive class d class drive from class b that means class d hold all the properties of class b then a pointer declared as a pointer to class b can also be a pointer to class d let's see inside the main function create a pointer of base class ptr is a pointer of base class and b1 is the object of base class and d1 is the object of drive class now ptr is equal to ampersand b1 that means ptr is a pointer that points to the object of base class we can make ptr to point to the object of drive class like ptr is equal to ampersand d1 now first of all single pointer is there that points to the object of both the classes base class object of base class as well as object of drive class this is perfectly valid with c++ because d1 is the object drive from class b there is a problem in using ptr to assess the public members of drive class d using ptr we can assess only those members which are inherited from class b and not the member that originally belongs to class d in case a member of class d has a same name as one of the member of class b then any reference to that member by ptr will always assess the base class member a base class pointer to points to any object drive from that base and the pointer cannot be directly used to assess all the members of drive class we may have to use another pointer declared as pointer to the drive type in c++ a pointer of base class can point to both base class and drive class object but a base class pointer can only assess those members of drive class which are inherited from base class not those member which are declared in the drive class on let's see the complete code how pointer to a drive class object are used first of all we have a base class b base class having one public data member and one public member function void display that display the value of a
class d is a drive class class d publicly drive from base class b so class d also having one data member drive class also having one member function void display that display the value of a and c mode of inheritance is public that means all the public data member as well as member function of base class become public in drive right so with the help of display function we can display the value of a as well as c drive class body and with the closing curly braces and semicolon now inside the main function first of all create the pointer of base class ptr is a pointer of base class then create the object of base class b1 is the object of base class then ptr is equal to m percent b1 that means ptr is a pointer that points to the object of base class now we have to assess the data member of base class with the help of pointer of base class how to assess name of the pointer arrow operator name of the data member and assign the value then assess the member function of base class now run this code now after the execution of this code the output is value of a is 10 with the help of base class pointer we can assess the data members as well as member function of base class then after that create the object of drive class so d b1 b1 is the object of drive class b1 is the object of drive class then ptr is equal to m percent d1 that means ptr is a pointer that points to the object of drive class now assess the drive class data member with the help of base class pointer ptr arrow operator then the name of the data member is c is equal to 20 then assess the member function of drive class now run this code now after the execution of this code there will be a error class b has no member name c c is a part of drive class c is a data member of drive class so with the help of base class pointer we cannot assess the data members and member function of drive class with the help of base class pointer we can assess the data member as well as member function of base class only if we try to assess the data member and member function of drive class with the help of base class pointer then there will be a error but base class pointer can only assess those members of drive class which are inherited from base class not those members which are declared in the drive class now if we want to assess a of drive class then this program will work 
right value of a is 20 c is declared inside the drive class on c right we cannot assess c with the help of base class point with the help of base class pointer we can only assess those members of drive class which are inherited from base class the data member a is inherited from base class right that's why a is acceptable now if you want to assess the data members and member functions of drive class then declare the pointer of drive class so d star ptr1 ptr1 is the pointer of drive class and ptr1 is equal to m percent d1 that means ptr1 is the pointer of drive class and pointer of drive class points to the object of drive class now with the help of drive class pointer we can assess the data members as well as member function of base class as well as drive class now ptr1 arrow operator name of the data member is c and assign the value then after that call the member function ptr1 arrow operator then name of the member function now run this code now after the execution of this code first of all ptr points to the object of base class value of a is 10 is to be printed onto the screen after that ptr points to the object of drive class then value of a is 20 is to be printed onto the screen then declare the pointer of drive class ptr1 is the pointer of drive class that points to the object of drive class so with the help of drive class pointer assess the data members as well as member function of both base as well as drive class then the display function call the value of a is 20 is to be printed onto the screen and value of c is 30 is to be printed onto the screen first time ptr pointer points to the object of base class and content of base class is to be printed then second time ptr points to the object of drive class again content of base class is to be printed after that we have created the pointer of drive class ptr1 ptr1 is the pointer of drive class and with the help of drive class pointer data member and member function of both base as well as drive class are accessible there is one important point with drive class pointer with drive class pointer we can set the value of base class member as well as drive class member ptr1 is a pointer of drive class and with the help of drive class pointer 
we can set the value of base class member as well as drive class member let's see the value of a is 15 and value of c is 30 with the help of base class pointer we cannot assess the data members of drive class this is all about the pointer to the drive class in c++